in this update I'm returning to the strictly scientific uh, path uh, in my blogging. Uh, so essentially in this update I am focusing mostly on the development of a theoretical model for testing uh, the economic conditions that would allow my NFIN project, my NFIN concept to hold. So in other words, just a short explanation for those who haven't quite followed my blog so far. I am developing the concept of a business and in the same time a theoretical model, uh, mostly based on the theory of games, where uh, the consumers of energy uh, are shaping their behavior or are forming new patterns of behavior in response to the observable prices of energy. The thing about those prices is that when uh, we, I mean individual people, households, when we buy energy, we usually pay a much higher price than a big institutional user like an office building or a factory would pay. This is a difference between prices observable in most markets of energy, at least in all the European national markets of energy. And I am basically developing on that observable uh, differential in prices. I am building both a business concept and a theoretical model to work with it. As I am using for that model a lot of the theory of games, uh, I thought it would be interesting to demonstrate the theory of games or the application of the theory of games or on a completely different topic. And I decided to focus on Brexit. Well, Brexit in, in Europe is very much of an actual current hot topic. And I wanted particularly to, uh, to kind of connect to that official policy for Brexit that the British government published recently, I think it was four days ago. And that policy was claimed to be a white flag, a declaration of surrender. I studied it, like calmly, with, with let's say, some theoretical distance. And I think, I guess, what was the initial economic and business game uh, uh, of that whole Brexit move on the part of the Britons. Uh, I, I think that what they wanted and what as, uh, essentially didn't work was transforming a multilateral treaty, so the Treaty of the European Union, into a range of bilateral trade and investment agreements with individual countries of, the, of continental Europe. Uh, I, I think now with some distance that from the British point of view the game was worth playing but it in, included that soft spot uh, which was uh, the necessity to negotiate and secure such bilateral ag agreements in the first place with France and Germany and this didn't work. Anyway, in this update you can see an application of the theory of games to the study, to the investigation of social phenomena, as well markets, as political systems. I wish you a nice reading and a pleasant Sunday. Bye.